सीधा सुप्रीम कोर्ट ले चलते हैं जहां पर अनुच्छेद 370 पर निर्णय सुनाया जा रहा है दिस इज रिकॉग्नाइज्ड बाय द जजमेंट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बेंच इन संपत प्रकाश फोर्थ द इफेक्ट ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट डिक्लेयरिंग अंडर क्लॉज 3 ऑफ आर्टिकल 370 दैट आर्टिकल 370 सीजेस टू एग्जिस्ट is that the provisions of the constitution which apply to every state in the first schedule would equally apply to the state of jammu and kashmir articles 371d and 370 bracket 3 were introduced with the purpose of enhancing constitutional integration and not for the disintegration so the power under article 371d and article 370 clause 3 even when exercised to its fullest extent does not freeze the system of integration contemplated by article 370 but is rather intended to enhance constitutional integration between the union and the state of jammu and kashmir holding that the power under article 370 clause 3 cannot be exercised after the dissolution of the constituent assembly would lead to the freezing of the process of integration contrary to the purpose of introducing the provision and 5 if the contention of the petitioners on the interpretation of article 370 vis-a-vis the dissolution of the constituent assembly is accepted then article 370 clause 3 would become redundant and would lose its temporary character the president while deciding if the power under article 370 clause 3 must be exercised determines if the special circumstances which warranted a special solution in the form of article 370 have ceased to exist This is a policy decision which completely falls within the realm of the executive. The court cannot sit in appeal over the decision of the president of India on whether the special circumstances which led to the arrangement under article 370 have ceased to exist. However, the decision is not beyond the scope of re- judicial review. It is settled law that the exercise of executive power can be challenged on the ground of malafides. The slew of constitutional orders issued by the president under article 371d applying various provisions of the constitution and applying provisions with modification indicate that over the course of the last 70 years the union and the state have through a collaborative exercise constitutionally integrated the state of jammu and kashmir with the union this is not a case where only articles 1 and article 370 of the constitution were applied to the state of jammu and kashmir and suddenly after 70 years the entire constitution was being made applicable the continuous exercise of power under article 370 clause 1 by the president indicates that the gradual process of constitutional integration was ongoing the declaration issued by the president in exercise of the power under clause 3 of article 370 is a culmination of the process of integration thus we do not find that the president's exercise of power under clause 3 of article 370 was malafide having concluded that the power under article 370 clause 3 subsisted even after the dissolution of the constituent assembly we have held that the exercise of power by the president to issue co273 is a valid exercise of constitutional power the next issue is the challenge to co272 on the ground that the power under article 371d cannot be issued to apply all the provisions of the constitution to the state of jammu and kashmir we have held that all provisions of the constitution can be applied to jammu and kashmir through the exercise of power under article 371d the power under article 371d can be used to apply one provision more than one provision an entire part of the constitution or all the provisions of the constitution that is the entire constitution the provision does not make a distinction between one or all provisions of the constitution non application of mine cannot be claimed merely because co272 applies all provisions of the constitution to jammu and kashmir in one go the next issue is the challenge to co272 on the ground that the president could not have secured the concurrence of the union government under the second proviso to article 370 1d we hold that the president seeking the concurrence of the union government instead of the government of the state to issue C- co272 is not invalid because first the effect of applying all the provisions of the constitution to the state of jammu and kashmir through the exercise of power under article 370 1d 
is the same as an exercise of power under Article 370, Clause 3, notifying that Article 370 shall cease to exist. That is, all provisions of the Constitution of India will apply to the state of Jammu and Kashmir, except for the fact that the former can be reversed while the latter, namely under Clause 3, cannot. Second, consultation and collaboration between both the units will only be necessary where the application of the provisions of the Indian Constitution to the state would require amendments to the state constitution because the purpose of the requirements of consultation and collaboration is for the smooth functioning of governance in the state and to ensure that the provisions of the constitution of Jammu and Kashmir are not inconsistent with the provisions of the constitution of India. Third, since the effect of applying all the provisions of the constitution of Jammu and Kashmir, uh, since the effect of applying all the provisions of the constitution to Jammu and Kashmir, to the exercise of the power under Article 371D is the same as issuing a notification under Article 370, Clause 3, which the President has the power to unilaterally issue the principle of consultation and collaboration and not required to be followed. Fourth, the exercise of power is malafide only if power was exercised with an intent to deceive. Deception can only be proved if the power which is otherwise unavailable to the authority or body is exercised or if the power that is available is improperly exercised. Since the concurrence of the state government was not required for the exercise of power under Article 370, bracket 1, bracket D, to apply all provisions of the Constitution to the state, the President securing the concurrence of the Union of India on behalf of the state government is not malafide. The next issue is the challenge to, Art to CO 272 on the ground that it is ultra vires Article 370, 1D, because it modifies Article 370. We have held that the modification by CO 272 to Article 367, as it applies to Jammu and Kashmir, had the effect of amending Article 370 and is thus ultra vires Article 370, bracket 1D. We have reached this conclusion for the following reasons. First, recourse must be had to the procedure contemplated by Article 370, Clause 3, if Article 370 is to cease to operate or is to be amended or modified in its application to the state of Jammu and Kashmir, no other procedure may be utilized to amend Article 370. Second, the rule of interpretation that a power under a statute must be exercised in accordance with the provisions of that statute and in no other manner is undoubtedly applicable to the Constitution. Third, from precedent, including Shankari Prasad Singh, Sajjan Singh, Kihoto Holohan and Rajendra Shah, it emerges that the following aspects are of significance when assessing whether a change has been made to a provision of the Constitution. One, a change may be either in terms of or in its effect. Two, a change can be said to have been made even if the language of the concerned provision is not directly amended by adding, subtracting or modifying the language. This is a change in effect. And three, if the effect of an amendment is to change a provision, such effect must be significant or appreciable. And four, the substance of a change is more important than its form. Second, an assessment of whether a constitutional order amounts to a modification and consequently whether the procedure under Article 370, Clause 1 or under Article 370, Clause 3 ought to have been followed depends on this standard. Third, the effect of a provision of law is as important as its form. While the change sought to be made by paragraph 2 of CO 272 may appear to be a modification or amendment of Article 367 at first blush, its effect is to amend Article 370 itself. CO 272 changes the language to the proviso to Article 370 Clause 3 in two ways. First, it changes the recommending body from the Constituent Assembly to the Legislative Assembly. And second, it makes a new arrangement at variance with that specific constituent assembly. Both these changes are not insignificant because they modify the essential character of the proviso by substituting a particular type or kind of body with another type or kind entirely. Fourth, while the interpretation clause, namely Article 367, can be used to define or give meaning to particular terms, it cannot be deployed to amend a provision by bypassing the specific procedure laid down for its amendment. This would defeat the purpose of having a procedure for making an amendment to the Constitution of India. Fifth, the consequence of permitting amendments through the circuitous manner would be disastrous. 
many provisions of the Constitution would be susceptible to amendments which evade the procedure stipulated by Article 368 or other provisions. Sixth, the previous constitutional orders which modified Article 370 through Article 367 were clarificatory and consequential. They did not have the effect of amending Article 370. We have therefore held as ultra vires the, uh, the, the amendments which were made to Article 370 Clause 3 by taking recourse to Article 367. G, the status of the Constitution of Jammu and Kashmir. The gaps left by the non-application of some parts of the Constitution of India were filled by the Constitution of the state. After the, after the abrogation of Article 370, as it stood before the issuance of CO 272 and CO 273, and the application of the entirety of the Constitution of India to the state, the Constitution of the state does not fulfill any purpose or serve any function. Hence, the implicit but necessary consequence of the तो एक अहम जानकारी देश का संविधान राज्य से ऊपर है सुप्रीम कोर्ट की तरफ से यह निर्णय सुनाया गया है कि केंद्र का फैसला संविधान के दायरे में है अनुच्छेद 370 को हटाना सरकार का सही फैसला जो 2019 में सरकार ने निर्णय लिया था वो बना रहेगा यह अपने आप में बड़ी बात है अनुच्छेद 370 एक अस्थाई व्यवस्था थी जिसको केंद्र सरकार ने हटाया 5 अगस्त 2019 का केंद्र सरकार का फैसला प्रभावी बना रहेगा ये बड़ी जानकारी अपने आप में और इस पूरे प्रकरण को लेकर जो एक असमंजस की स्थिति बनी रही थी कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट की तरफ से अनुच्छेद 370 पर क्या फैसला आता है अब उसमें निर्णय सुना दिया गया है जम्मू कश्मीर भारत का अभिन्न अंग है सविता ढांडा हमारे साथ सुप्रीम कोर्ट के अधिवक्ता हैं सविता जी बहुत स्वागत है आपका खबर फास्ट पर हाँ जी नमस्कार सविता जी एक बड़ी जानकारी सामने आ रही है देश का संविधान राज्य से ऊपर है सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने कहा लेकिन ये भी कहा कि सुप्रीम माफ कीजिए जो जम्मू कश्मीर का 370 का फैसला अनुच्छेद दो 2019 में सरकार ने निर्णय लिया था उसको जायज ठहराया है अपने आप में एक बड़ी बात है क्या कहेंगे इस पर आप सविता जी हाँ जी देखिए ये फैसला बहुत अहम फैसला है क्योंकि इसमें सिर्फ सुप्रीम कोर्ट को ये देखना था कि ये जो थ्री सेवन तीन सौ सत्तर धारा जो हटाई गई है आर्टिकल उसमें वो दायरे में उस उन सब को आ, सारे कानूनी द, का, कानूनी पॉइंट्स को ध्यान में रखते हुए हटाया गया है या नहीं हटाया गया है तो इतनी लंबी कम से कम भी ये लगा लो कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट में इसकी जो सुनवाई है वो 15 से 20 दिन तक चली थी शमशेर जी और इसमें जो है वो जजमेंट में क्लियर क्लियर मेंशन किया है कि ज, ज, जो भी दायरे होने चाहिए गवर्नमेंट के पास उस सब दायरों को लेकर इसमें कोई भी कानूनी ऐसा दाव पेच नहीं था जिससे कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट इस सरकार के फैसले को जो है वो रिकन्सिडर करे पूरा बहुमत से जो भी फैसला था वो लिया गया है और वो स, वो सरकार जो है वो अपने फैसले देश हित में कभी भी ले सकती है अगर देश हित में लिए गए फैसलों में कोई कानूनी किसी तरीके की कोई कमी नहीं पाई जाती है तो फिर उसके बाद सुप्रीम कोर्ट का दायरा नहीं बनता है सुप्रीम कोर्ट का दायरा सिर्फ तभी बनता है किसी भी गवर्नमेंट के डिसीजन में आप, अपने आप में अगर उसमें ये पाया जाता है कि कहीं ना कहीं पब्लिक के वो खिलाफ फैसला है या सभी तरी, या वो फैसले सभी तरीकों से नहीं लिए गए हैं कानून रूप से नहीं लिए गए हैं तो इसमें आफ्टरऑल सुप्रीम कोर्ट को मिला की नहीं ये फैसला जो है वो कानूनी तरीके से लिया गया था और इसलिए जो है वो कोर्ट के दायरे में इंटरफेयर करना नहीं है बिल्कुल ये कोर्ट के कोर्ट की तरफ से पाया गया कि सभी दायरों में रहकर ये फैसला सरकार ने लिया और ये भी कहा कि अस्थाई ये एक प्रावधान था अनुच्छेद 370 अब ये आजादी के 75 साल बाद एक तरीके से देखें तो अभिन्न अंग के तौर पर जो हम सालों से इसका इंतजार कर रहे थे अब उसमें कहीं पर कोई ऐसा पॉइंट नहीं बचा है जिससे जिन याचिकाकर्ताओं को कोई संभावना नजर आती है सविता जी क्या कहेंगी हाँ जी इसमें देखिए डिफरेंट डिफरेंट जो कमेटी थी उन सब का जो है सुझाव लिया गया था इसमें गवर्नमेंट ने जो है वो पब्लिक ऑफिसर्स वगैरह के साथ मिलके पूरा आज के टाइम पे जम्मू कश्मीर की क्या स्थिति है क्या आज के टाइम पे जो ये टेम्परेरी एक कानून था क्या इसको रखना जरूरी है या नहीं है तो वो पूरा सर्वे करके जो है वो सरकार ने तभी वो फैसला लिया है और वो जो कमेटी की जितनी भी रिपोर्ट थी वो सही मिली है तो इसलिए कोर्ट को कोर्ट ने इसीलिए इसमें कोई इंटरफेरेंस 
नहीं किया है क्योंकि कोर्ट का दायरा ऐसे मामलों में इंटरफेरेंस करने का लिमिटेड है लेकिन वो अगर कहीं से कानूनी तरीके से सही नहीं मिलता है तो वो तभी कर सकता है तो इसलिए कोर्ट को जो है वो इसमें कहीं पर भी कोई ऐसा ऐसी कोई कमी लगी नहीं कि किस कि, कि, किसी भी कि, किसी कानून को जो है वो इसमें इग्नोर किया गया हो तो इसलिए सभी अगर वैध तरीके से कोई पॉलिसीज बनती हैं या वैध तरीके से जैसे ये टेम्परेरी था तो इसको अगर 370 को हटाया गया तो कोर्ट को आज की सिचुएशन के हिसाब से वो कर, कहीं पर भी इंटरफेरेंस करने का कोई स्कोप नजर नहीं आया बिल्कुल एक संविधान एक विधान एक निशान को लेकर जो बात होती थी अब उसमें आज हम सफल हुए हैं ये कह सकते हैं सविता जी हाँ जी हाँ जी पूरे देश को बधाई हो इसके लिए धन्यवाद चलिए बहुत शुक्रिया सविता डांडा जी से बातचीत के लिए जम्मू कश्मीर भारत का अभिनंदन विलय के साथ जम्मू कश्मीर की संप्रभुता खत्म सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने कहा है देश का संविधान राज्य से ऊपर होता है पर एक बड़ी जानकारी मोदी सरकार के कश्मीर फैसले पर सुप्रीम कोर्ट की तरफ से मुहर लग गई है